Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Lion's Den. I want to thank you all in advance for being here and watching this video. Today, we are reviewing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And I'll just get it out of the way now. This is a non-spoiler review. I will not be giving anything away about the movie. Um, I'll be talking about specific characters that have been in the trailers. Um, nothing that hasn't been in the trailers at all will be mentioned. So, here we go. And I'm just going to say it right off the bat. This is the best Spider-Man movie ever made. It's better than Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2. It's better than No Way Home. It's better than Into the Spider-Verse. This is the best Spider-Man movie ever made, in my opinion. It was fantastic. I w my jaw was on the floor throughout the entire movie. My girlfriend, who, who she doesn't really care too much about comic book stuff and like animated movies, she was even like, wow, that was incredible. Um, so the way we're going to do this review... I'll just, uh, you know, give general thoughts in the beginning, talk about, you know, the animation, the story, then go into some specific characters and, you know, what I liked about them. Like I said, all stuff that you've seen in the trailers. Um, so, first of all, the animation in this movie is is wild. It, it takes what they did in the first movie and just ups it, ups it, ups it to the thousandth, thousandth degree. I can't even speak properly, like... The visuals in this movie are something you have never seen in any animated movie or regular movie or any movie ever. What they did is absolutely incredible and like hats off to the animators. Like, Jesus, Jesus. I mean, I know VFX artists are, are not unionized. They need to unionize because of stuff like this. They all need to be paid the most money possible for what they did here because it's absolutely incredible. Um, every single frame of this movie... If you paused it, you could hang it up on your wall, make a poster out of it. it it's just beautiful. Um, the story in general. This story is wild. And obviously, we're all here for the Spider-Verse shenanigans and all that. And it, it has that, obviously. That stuff is incredible. But what I really love about these two movies, Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse, is how they hand, handle the personal stuff uh, with Miles, with Gwen, with all these... Spider-Men who are like at the forefront of the movie and Spider-Women um, like the stuff with Miles and his family his parents is is amazing there are conversations he has with his mom and dad that are so relatable and so like real and and great scenes like his his parents were two of my favorite characters in the movie and all they do is like talk to Miles about his life and like how they don't feel as connected to him anymore because you know you know the life of Spider-Man he's lying to everybody he's always late because he's, he's, you know, taking care of villains, and he's not telling his parents he's Spider-Man, and, like, the scenes they have together are just awesome, and so well written, and so real, it just feels like a conversation you would have with your parents, and Gwen is a bigger part of this movie, we get to see the relationship between Gwen and her dad, and those scenes are great, too, and I just, I really appreciate that these movies that are called Into the Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse, they don't forget that these characters are supposed to be human and they have human problems and human relationships and it, it, they they knock it out of the park it really grounds the story and makes you care about these people and you know just just adds to the overall narrative that gets absolutely out of control with uh multiverse shenanigans um then going on to the, the multiverse stuff is is awesome i mean this is the best multi multiverse movie ever made i mean we have doctor strange you know we had the first spider verse Everything, everything, everywhere, all at once, you know, I don't know, Quantumania wasn't really multiverse, but um, the Flash coming out, I'll see if that, you know, is better than this, I don't think it will be, but um, this is the best multiverse movie ever made, the way they handle the concept, all the, you see all the different Spider-Men in the trailers, um, it's awesome, the way they handle it, they did a perfect, perfect job, and really, this this might be my favorite movie of the year. It might have knocked Guardians three out of the top spot. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna go see it again. But this is this. Not only is this one of the best Spider-Man movies ever, this is one of the best comic book movies ever made. It could, it could be better than all of them. Name whatever ones you love: Infinity War, Endgame, No Way Home, Civil War, Winter Soldier, Iron Man, The Dark Knight. Um, people love Zack Snyder's Justice League. I love that movie. I love Man of Steel. I love. So many different comic book movies. Guardians 3. The first Guardians. This could be better than all of them. I'm not kidding. It's that good. You really got to go see it and and appreciate it. And just, you're going to be in shock. You're going to be in awe. Um, 
I, I'm like almost lost for words. I saw it last night and I still like am thinking about it constantly. Like this morning, I couldn't wait to get here to my computer and talk about it in this review. So like I said, we're, we talked about the story, the animation. So the individual characters, obviously Miles. Miles is great once again in this movie. Um, you know, he's funny. He's heroic. He's cool. He's awkward. Like everything about him that you love in the first movie is just, you know, dialed up again and he's great at it seeing him as more experienced now it's cool to see you know he's swinging around he's got cool new moves uh he's like used to being spider-man now and he's like kind of getting into his prime it's really great and like i said the stuff with him and his parents is great uh the stuff with him and the other spider people is great like all these relationships and people he has to bounce off of uh the act the voice actor i believe his name is shamik moore awesome does a great job uh one of the best voice acting performances in animated movies he gives in this movie. Uh, Gwen. Gwen takes a big step forward in this movie. She's almost the main character. You know, this isn't a spoiler, but the movie starts off from her her perspective. And she does her little, you know, my name is Gwen Stacy. And I'm Spider, you know, the little comic introduction they do from the first one for all the new spider man that come in. It starts off with her and like her story. And you don't see Miles for a little bit. Um, not too long, don't worry. But it, it's it's great, you know, all the backstory they give us on her and like where she's at in her universe and, you know, what she's going through in her Spider-Woman journey because, you know, all Spider-Men and Spider-Women are destined to have to be miserable at the end of the day, um, but she's awesome. Um, you know, you got Oscar Isaac as Miguel O'Hara, really, really cool character visually and, you know, he's, he's like brooding and menacing and and serious, and, you know, great job by him, uh, the villain, the spot, um, I believe the guy's name is, is it Ben Schwartzman, or Jason Schwartzman, who voices him, I'm not sure, um, he did a great job, he's funny, and as the movie goes along, uh, he becomes pretty terrifying, uh, he's, he's a great villain, I really liked him a lot, and his powers are really cool, the way they visualize them, um, are, it's really awesome, uh, visual treat, like I said, the whole movie, you know, you got Peter B. Parker in there. He he's great once again. Um, Miles' parents, as I said, uh, Gwen Stacy's dad is in it. He has some great scenes. But overall, all the characters in this movie once again hit it out of the park, and that's why these movies are great. They don't they don't aim to be a great comic book movie. They don't aim to be a great animated movie. They aim to be a great movie with great characters, great storytelling, great writing. Uh, speaking of writing. You know, the story, obviously, as I said, is amazing. The humor in this movie, it's hilarious. The, these guys, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, they know how to write comedy. The first Spider-Verse was hilarious. And I watched that movie, uh, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. That movie's hilarious, too. Another animated movie. Go watch that movie. It's, it's funny, and it's a great movie. They know how to write characters, humor, serious moments, emotional moments, everything. Um, these guys, give them everything. Give them everything with Spider-Man. They know what they're doing. And it makes me upset that they got removed from that Han Solo movie. I feel like they could have done a great job with that, but maybe they were making it too funny for Lucasfilm. Who knows anymore with that company? But yeah, man, this movie is just so, so, so good. Um, I can't wait to see the next one. I'm just, the the cameos you're going to see, the, the different characters, the new characters that have big roles, like Spider-Punk, man. I'm not going to say any, much about him just because he wasn't in the trailers too much, but Spider-Punk um, is awesome. You're going to love him. He's going to be one of your favorite characters. Um, the Spider-Woman was really good. And just, oh, dude, the visuals on this movie. I'm going to try and put some, you know, some screenshots from the trailer on the screen. Like, you're not even ready for it. You're not ready for some of the stuff they do. The action, the web slinging, the going through the universes, all of that type of stuff is just so 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 good and i just can't believe that we got a movie like this this is the best spider-man movie ever and peter parker is not even the main character i love miles morales he's awesome he's becoming one of my favorite comic book characters out there and he he deserves respect he's getting respect from these guys who are writing and directing this character and <clears throat> i'm seeing it again in the next few days and I'll probably do a spoiler discussion if people are interested in that. Maybe sometime next week after people have time to see the movie over this weekend. But go see it. 
Go love it. Go appreciate it. One of the best comic book movies ever. One of the best animated movies ever. Best movie of the year, possibly for me. Best Spider-Man movie of all time. Go see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. You are not going to regret it. I promise you. Um, that's all I have to say because I, I like keep wanting to speak about things that are in spoiler territory because to truly appreciate this movie, you have to see it. And, you know, talking about it, just kind of giving an overall review doesn't give it justice. Um, so all of you, please go see it. Come back, comment on this video, say, I saw it. Let's do that spoiler discussion. I'll go live. You can send in your thoughts about it. Send in your comments and questions and everything you think about this movie. But go see it. Tell me what you thought of it. And thank you so much for watching this review. Um, I appreciate you being here. So we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, my friends.